Welcome to this demonstration of the XMatters Incident Console, which supports adaptive incident management techniques. Before we begin our demo, let's cast our minds back a few years. Gone are the days where developers are just writing code. It's becoming increasingly more common for coders to be on call, and in many cases actually need to coordinate the incident response. If the Google SRE model has taught us anything, it's that nobody likes doing repetitive tasks, especially not at 2 a.m. Forrester and Gartner have both found that some 65 to 70% of incidents happen because of change activity. So it's even more frustrating if you or your colleagues are being unnecessarily woken up by another team's work. So how do you work smarter when these unfortunate events occur? Well, let's dive in and take a look. Let's start off in the XMatters mobile app with an alert that's waking us up because we're on call for a particular service. Now, chances are you've got something like Dynatrace, AppDynamics, or as we see here, Stackdriver, telling you that something is wrong. Here, XMatters brings you that signal straight to your device and has woken you up with a notification within the app. That's a good start for your instant response at least. But what's the first thing that you typically do when something goes wrong? Well, you're probably wondering what's changed or what may have caused this stack driver alert. Perhaps someone pushed a new bit of code. Is another service available? Has there been a change on a config recently? In many cases, you probably have to go into a number of different systems to gather all of this telemetry. Except with XMatters, you can have those steps happen automatically before the notification even hits your device. So here, in addition to the stack driver signal, we've then got a series of enrichment data, our recent code repo commits, our recent builds, other system statuses, and even recent change requests. All of this situational context can be configured to suit the integration or workflow relevant to this impacted service. Now, armed with that context, you've got a pretty good idea if this is something you need to take action on. And you're probably already familiar with the XMatters response options on notifications and the ability to customize them beyond simple accept or escalate responses. And you're probably thinking, well, this is all well and good, but where does this new incident management feature come into play? Well, right now, you can see we've got a response here labeled create incident. Now, you might be an engineer that's on call, so you're just triaging these signals ahead of handing them off to another team to manage the incident. Or you might be an SRE tasked with seeing this service outage through to resolution. You may have a number of actions to do, such as engaging various resolvers to help on this incident, open up some form of collaboration space for everyone to work together, and perhaps more importantly, actually getting the incident log somewhere to track all of this activity. So there's a lot to do. Thankfully, this is where XMatters Flow Designer can help you. Now behind the scenes, our visual workflow builder is automating the manual processes and moving the incident forwards. This can be anything from creating channels in your chat tools through to opening conference bridges for your responders and your stakeholders. So now that we've kicked things off and perhaps got our laptop out, we can see that we've had a notification through to the Sev1 channel in Slack, giving me confirmation that the incident has been created. So if we click the link to open up XMatters, we'll see our newly created incident here in the new incidents tab. So what's this screen showing me? Well, firstly, that signal data that woke us up, it's all here in the incident summary and description. And we can even edit that to make it more user-friendly if we need to. So we can change this title to API Gateway Issue and copy the stack driver ID information into the description field. Next, based on the data that came through from Stackdriver and the configuration of my workflow, I can see that there's a few resolvers already engaged, meaning XMatters on-call schedules have been automatically initiated, notifying the relevant on-call people, and where necessary, escalating through the group. Again, that's a typically manual process that can be automated, saving you the headache of pulling up on-call spreadsheets or manually calling through a list of resolvers. And we've already got a response from one group, but nothing back from the other. So if need be, we can re-notify them to chase that team. Over on the right, XMatters has been busy working with various chat tools. It may be that there's some cultural tool differences across the organization. 
your business stakeholders, or another team potentially impacted by this outage may use Microsoft Teams, but your technical resolvers may use Slack. What's helpful here is that the information posted to each application can be different. So if we click through to the MS Teams channel, you can see that it has details of the incident posted into it and details of the conference bridge that XMAS has automatically opened as well. And for our technical resolvers, they have that dedicated channel in Slack that's named after the incident number. So these new features accessed in the incident console and powered by the XMAS's visual builder flow designer support an adaptive approach to resolution. They solve the challenges of responding to service interruptions across different teams, cultures, and systems. So now that we've got some teams engaged, let's update the status of the incident to in progress. And I can add a note auditing the change. And that note is then added to the incident timeline down here at the bottom, which is filterable and searchable too. So this allows me to quickly pull up the audits on resolver engagements, status and severity changes, and any notes that are manually added via this note button. And this will be handy later on when we're producing the post-incident report, helping your teams to improve their incident response. Now let's hop back into our Slack channel and look specifically at the collaboration channel just to see how our technical resolvers are doing. You can see one of my colleagues has already suggested that we get the applications team involved. Now you may be familiar with the bot functionality that's available in Slack and Teams, and we can use that functionality to query X matters directly from within our channel here. So we can look up the applications group, see who's on call, and if need be, even ask the bot to initiate communications out to that resolver currently on call. We can also do this from the incident overview page. Now, XMatters allows you to easily scale up or scale down your resolver team from your preferred interface. So here I can hit add resolvers, look up the applications team, and you can see that group are now being added add resolvers to the incident, and XMatters will begin notifying them per their on-call schedule and escalations. And just to show you what that looks like, here on my phone, you can see that kind of notification coming through to my device. So if I open up the XMatters app, I can see the type of content that that team would be receiving, and I can respond accordingly. And again, the incident dashboard is updated, so the incident commander knows there's been a positive response from that team. Now, since this incident is now affecting multiple services, this is where we can be adaptive and better manage the incident as more details are becoming known. So it's probably a good idea for us to raise the severity of this issue so that the incident is categorized and automated actions can happen in the background. So we can change the severity to just like we did with the status and add a note saying multiple apps affected. And there we go. Again, that's logged and audited in the incident timeline at the bottom. Now let's fast forward and imagine that our teams have been hard at work and we're gonna say that we deployed a fix. And we can now assume that the overall issue has been mitigated. So the service should be restored, but our teams are still engaged in this incident. So we can come back into the incident console, set the incident status to mitigated. And you'll see now, in addition to having a note, I can also define the times that the outage actually occurred. So perhaps this actually occurred a few minutes before the ticket was raised and the fix was deployed within the last minute. So we can say rolled back a version, hit update, and again, that information is then logged. So at this point, our technical resolvers may still be engaged in the instant. They're monitoring just to check that the service is stable, but the outage itself has now been mitigated. We've got the service back up and running for our customers. So it may be a few minutes, maybe a half hour or so that the teams are just monitoring to check that everything is good and all okay. And once they're happy and our resolvers are saying that the service now looks stable, we can then set the instant status to resolved. Again, confirming the actual outage window and put an audit note in there again. At this point, this is where XMatters again automates another manual and laborious step for you, calculating your key incident metrics. So first we have time to detect. 
helping you accurately log the time the outage actually occurred to being logged within XMatters. Then time to acknowledge, tracking how long it took for your new incident to be picked up and put into the in-progress state. Impact duration, so classifying the actual length of the outage impact to the business. And time to resolve, the length of time to fully close out the incident from its beginning. And since our incidents live in different statuses, and in today's case, different severities, you'll even be shown how long your incident spent in each status and in each severity. So combine that with reports like group performance, XMatters can help you learn more about your incident response. And so by leveraging the joint power of XMatters flow designer, on-call scheduling, and incident management, you can enable your teams to automate the stuff that can be automated, empower them to manage incidents more effectively by providing them a guided path from detection to resolution, and ensure the vital learnings are captured post-incident. Ultimately, this will then lead to a more resilient service and a better experience for your customers and end users. If you're interested in learning more about these features or getting them enabled in your environment, reach out to your account manager or a member of our support team today.